been roaming around as part of our Jack's Best presented by Visit Jacksonville campaign. Today, our focus is on art as I present the plaque for the best gallery in Jacksonville. Congratulations. Well, thank, thank you. you. We are super excited, <laughs> to say the least. We were like sending the email all around as soon as we got it <laughs> to let everybody know because this is a, a co-op of 25 artists. It's almost all completely volunteer. So it's, it's difficult sometimes to keep everything running and going through all the changes that we've gone to. So this recognition means so much to us. Ah, uh, the Excitement Art Center Cooperative President Lisa Lofton and her group feel is palpable. When you hear about all that they do, there should be an even bigger word than cooperative. The Art Center Cooperative is um, a group of 23 artists and um, we have our gallery here and what we do is we try to um, give people the experience of being in a gallery, uh, upcoming artists, um, we have a lot of artists that are well known in the community and um, we also try to do a lot of community work as well. We did like, a fundraiser for art supplies for elementary school children so we try to get out in the community everything from murals to um, doing workshops for kids. So not only is this a place for the artists to grow, it's also a place to help the community. The group also tries to support artists by giving them business insights. I have to admit, finding out they were in Regency Square Mall had a fellow wondering about location, but they had a reason for landing in this venue. We had been at several locations downtown. We, it was hard to do all three, so we decided to try and consolidate things, and we ended up having two spaces at the landing. We had a main gallery and a show gallery there, and then we had studios on Hogan Street where we rented out studios to artists. And um, we had been there for four years, and uh, all of a sudden we got a notice that we had 30 days to vacate. And uh, when you have to find a new place in 30 days, um, that was something as a nonprofit. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. We could afford. Uh, it took us a while to find a place, and, and this met our budget at the time. Being in the mall has not been a hindrance. Well, pre-COVID. I will say that we had more traffic here than we did at the landing when we started. COVID um, hit that hard. J.C. Penney's leaving hurt. So we're at about half of the traffic that we were pre-pandemic. Lisa explains why she thinks the group won the Jack's Best Award for Best Gallery. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that when COVID came, we pivoted, we went online. That's it. We've been making so many more things visible from uh, an online perspective, from our entire gallery is online now. We have um, local artists come in and join in exhibitions, and we put all of their stuff online, as well as everything's for sale online as well, and we'll do a contact-free pickup. So we've just really tried to roll with the punches of the last year. It's been a little dark, but we've, you know, it's made us push to do some things that we would not have done if it had not been for COVID. Ed shares other ways the group connects with the artist community. We do also exhibitions, themed exhibitions for open to any artist, not just members. And so we run back-to-back -back shows and about half of the entrance into any show is not PAC members. And, and it gives them a great opportunity to get their work up on a wall, um, get the rewarded. Uh, we give out prize money for the, for the winners. Thank, Thank you, Jacksonville, for voting, for voting the Art Center Cooperative, Cooperative the best gallery in Jacksonville. Support your locals, folks. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. The Art Center Cooperative has a ton of community initiatives they're involved with. If you'd like to find out how you could get connected, find out gallery in information and exhibition, visit tacjacksonville.org. Now, in the meantime, our most recent round of categories has been posted. You have the opportunity to vote for those. The best bike shop, the best brunch, the best pet bakery, the best speakeasy, the best biscuit, and the best museum. Just go to newsforjacks.com slash jacksbest and make your voice heard or download the Jack's Best app from your favorite app store. Jack's Best presented by Visit Jacksonville, where you're the local expert. Mark?